Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new video and today we have some more F1 2019 modded career mode for you here today and this is round 5 of the season for the Spanish Grand Prix and this officially kicks off the European season for the year and I'm very much looking forward to it. First of all though guys, if you missed the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, it will be linked in the top right hand corner of the screen. That was of course the last race but today we are here at the Circuit de Catalunya in Barcelona. First of all, the weather forecast and nice sunny conditions here all weekend long as you'd expect at Spain of course and then in, in terms of the upgrades actually we have had some on the car this weekend they took us a couple of races to set up some points but we do have the final aerodynamic upgrades on the car so the car now is officially maxed out in terms of performance and we've also added on two upgrades for reliability and that means that in terms of the R&D graph we overtake McLaren as the second quickest team but worth noting Red Bull, Renault, Haas, Alfa Romeo all gaining a massive amount this weekend and that top seven is looking very very competitive so it's going to be interesting as we now jump into qualifying and I'm very much looking forward to it because Spain is naturally a track where everybody's really really close anyway so it could make for a very interesting one the fact that everyone is now so close in terms of actual position in terms of the R&D graph so let's see how we get on then as you can see there was Ricardo a moment ago there is Alexander Albon in his Haas and here we have Lewis Hamilton who's not quite in the Ferrari just yet but getting ready for the start of qualifying in his prancing horse and uh, here we go then on to our first of three runs in this session and this one was actually um not too bad of an opener um the cars are so damn fast around here now like it's unbelievable how quick they are and they just absolutely glide around the circuit we do set our first up which is three tenths off the pace and we go p5 and i know there's more time to find uh, we then cut on to our second lap and as you can see here through the first sector we are down a little bit on our own time but we are still fastest through the first sector um, and then we made a couple of mistakes the first one being here into turn number five we lock up lose a chunk of time at about a tenth and a half through that section we pulled some time back through turn nine but we lost even more at the hairpin by locking up running it a bit deep on the brakes and then we made another mistake here by clipping the inside curb and just kind of losing the back end so we lost another two and a half tenths there luckily for us we got a really good exit and i made some of that time back and at this point it was a hail mary so i just threw the car into these final corners hoping it would stick and to be fair we absolutely nailed it and uh, we get a nice exit out the final corner there. We are going to find a chunk of time through the final four corners pretty much. And we do improve with a purple sector three up to third place. And now two tenths off Verstappen who uh, seemingly is on the pace. The Red Bull's looking very fast around here this weekend. We now cut on to our final lap. And this was my best one of the session. So enjoy guys. It wasn't the best one, but you'll see what happens. It's quite messy. And there we go, trying to put the power down out of the final corner. It's a very messy lap, but somehow we have gone faster. And we don't improve much in terms of position, but the lap is a faster one. So, uh, yeah, overall, you know, you might be wondering why I continued when I got the warning for track limits to turn three. Uh, the reason I did that is because the AI are very bad with blue flags. And, you know, the car in front should have got out of my way, but he didn't. Either way, I didn't feel like I gained any time because I ran so far off the track. And also just a few errors here and there, just through the dirty air and general traffic. But you can see the grid at the moment. Uh, so the Red Bull front row lockout and a Ferrari second row. So very, very interesting. The Red Bull's back on top. Then we have Bottas and Perez on row number three. And it's Leclerc and myself on row four. So we're once again qualifying down in eighth place. But there was more pace in the car. We could have definitely got, you know, top four without a doubt if we just managed to hook up a clean lap. We got Sainz ninth, Sebastian Vettel running up the top ten. And once again, out 
qualify in P8, Gasly, who is in P11. Then we have Kevin Magnussen in P12, alongside Gasly on row 6 in the first of the Renaults. We then move further down on the grid, and it's both of the Alfa Romeos of Kimi Raikkonen and Nico Hulkenberg, and the Iceman at qualifying the German driver. Then it's Alex Albon, down in 15th, ahead of Lando Norris, down in P16 for the first of the Williams cars, who have definitely taken a big step back in this race. And then we move on to the final part of the grid, and we do have, of course, Antonio Giovinazzi in the Renault in P17, ahead of Daniel Ricciardo, who for once isn't on the back row, and it's actually Lance Stroll taking his place with Roman Grosjean once again bringing up the rear. But guys, that is your grid here for the Spanish Grand Prix, and we're now going to try and turn this around and hopefully bring a few more places back in the race. But let's jump into it. It's time for the Spanish Grand Prix. Right, so here we are then for the start of the Spanish Grand Prix. And of course, we are starting on the fourth row, down in eighth place, alongside Mr. Charlie Leclerc, who is, of course, in the Haas car. And we're going to try and turn this around here today and make something happen. So the target is simple. I want to try and aim for a podium. You know, this season, we've had a lot of third and fourth places. And that, I want to try and keep that consistency going because that is really proven to be key for us. And the good news is the Ferraris aren't on the front row. So uh, it's the return of the Red Bulls, and they're going to be hard to beat. So I'm curious to see how this race is going to pan out. And uh, pace-wise, I think we have got good pace. You know, qualifying, we didn't get a chance to really show it, but I think we do have good rhythm. Race strategy is going to be a very simple one stop with the softs onto the hards. Possible soft, medium, medium. Depends on traffic and the race situation we're in. But uh, yeah, we'll see how that one goes. We'll judge it on a lap by lap basis. Also, no rain expected here today. So, very straightforward race. So, let's just get cracking and let's see how we can get on here at Spain. And hopefully, it's a great result once again. Right, here we go. First gear selected. Let's get the revs in the sweet spot as the lights come on. Lights out and away we go. Not a bad start to be fair. I'm quite happy with that. Sainz does get past. Sebastian Vettel looking for the move as well. Into the first corner. We're going to have to just break early to avoid hitting the back of the McLaren. But we are going to go around the outside of Seb Vettel through turn two. Going to try and get underneath these guys as we go through turn three. But to be fair, no one really slows up that much. Everyone keeping it a very single file through here. We're going to get a switch back on Carlos Sainz. Can we pull that off? We're going to try it on the outside for turn number five. We're going to have a look here. Try not to hit the Haas of Leclerc. We make the move stick, and it's a beautiful overtake on Carlos Sainz there. Really, really nice move. Just about enough space to make the overtake stick. And we're now on the back of Charles Leclerc in the Haas. I, I said I wanted to be aggressive and go forward on this first lap. And that's what we're going to try and do. But so far, we've only gone backwards. That's what we've done. Enter the hairpin. Down the inside of Leclerc. It's a late one, but we had to go for it. There we go, job done. Give him a bit of a squeeze for good measure on the exit. And uh, Perez actually with a fantastic start. He's got himself up into fourth place, so really good from him. He's got ahead of one of the Ferraris, which is also really good. Let's see what we can do now as we go through the final chicane for the first time. We're now behind Valtteri Bottas, of course, in the McLaren. At the end of lap one, we've moved up to P7, so good start from us in this race. Let's see what kind of race pace we have. If I can clear this McLaren, I'll feel a bit more confident that we can get stuff done in this race. But for now, no DRS, so it's going to be tricky to pass, Bottas. Oh, okay. Some kind of incident already. Further back. Looks like we've lost a car already in this race. We'll get confirmation in a minute, but I think they may have pulled over. Or oh, there's been a crash, one or the other. We've got a slow-moving Mercedes. It's Pierre Gasly out of the race already. There it is, confirmation. A Frenchman in the Merc out of the Grand Prix already on lap two. Some kind of mechanical failure. No safety car of ESC though, so we continue on our way. Very good final chicane there, and good exit. We may just have a chance. Oh my god, that McLaren's got great straight on speed. I really thought I'd get a bit more than that on the straight, but... Some information on Vettel. They seem to have an issue. That's behind us, so it doesn't matter too much. Seb, of course, Caution. in the Mercedes. And uh, that's now both Mercedes with issues. Yeah, that's for Pierre, but both Mercedes with issues in this race, so Silver Arrow struggling for reliability. Looks like Perez is struggling to keep up with the pace of the front three at the moment as uh, Ferrari puts the pressure on behind him. DRS, but we're not close enough to Bottas here. Unfortunately, Perez is dropping back. He can't keep up with the front three. Red Bulls really have made a resurgence here this weekend. Let's see if we can try and close down this McLaren. Though. I want to try and get past him. I'm faster than the Bottas. That's good. Kept the revs ticking over there. Beautiful. Here we go. Let's see if we can get him this time. Fast up at the Grand Prix from us. So we are showing pace. Here we go. On the McLaren. To the inside. Easy does it. Oh, getting sideways mid-corner. But there we go. Job done. We make our way 
up into the top six. Lewis Hamilton up next, so he's struggling to get past our teammates. Now the Red Bulls begin battling for the lead, so this could get tasty. Verstappen versus Russell. Let's try and hunt these guys down. I fancy my chances here. We're all bunching up. I've got loads of engine mode saved up. If I can get this section right, we could have a crack at Hamilton here. That's not too shabby. With the DRS, can we get him? Down the inside of the hairpin. It's a close one. But yes, we do. We get it done. There we go. Fantastic overtake. From quite far back, my braking is on point into there. So we make a move up to P5. Up next is our teammate, Sergio Perez. But we're making great progress so far this race. Like I said, being aggressive, trying to get the moves done. Because I know I've got the pace. As we get a bit loose through there. That was pretty damn close. And actually, one of the Red Bulls pits, I didn't catch who it was, but one of them does actually pit, so that's going to move us up to P4 now, and that's an aggressive strategy from that Red Bull. We're going to stay out till about lap 10, and uh, strap on the hard tyre and go to the finish, so let's see how that pans out. We are going to commit to that strategy, so if we have to get more moves done, we will. Okay, everyone else pits. We're staying out, we're going long here. But sideways there, as I'm expecting Lewis to pit now, and that's that, then all the leaders have done their pit stops. I want to know what Tari goes for because that would indicate what strategy they're going for. But we're going to go out for one more and we'll pit next lap for the hard heart. Trying to catch a glimpse. Hamilton goes on to medium. So I wonder if the AI are two stopping. If so, that's going to be interesting because we're going to go for the one stop. So different strategies in this race. Very tasty indeed. We'll snap on new fastest lap. Again, that would indicate possibly a fresh medium tyre. Place is still pretty good on these. So I'm happy to stay out for another lap and a half. Yeah, we're going to pit this lap. Good first stint. Soft tyres were really good, actually. They lasted beautifully. And we could push them, which is great. This racing point is very good in its tyres. I have to say, that's one good thing about this car. Compared to all the other cars I've ever driven in Korea mode, this car does treat its tyres very well. To the pits we go. Trying to push us to the maximum, really. Let's not speed now. There we go. Right, perfect. So there we go. Stint one is done. We're now going to go into our second and... Hopefully final stint, so hopefully it all works out, okay? Fingers crossed we can find pace on the hard time, try and switch these on. Complete, go now. There we go, 1.9 stop, good stuff from the boys, as a bunch of medium tire runners go by. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. I'll tell you what, we've actually overcut here. We're ahead of Hamilton. The leaders are battling with um, Williams on medium tires, but we've jumped a bunch of cars. And we're now up into a net P4, so we've actually got ahead of our own teammate, I believe. Strategy has worked out fantastically well. This is great. Here are all the leaders on mediums, and they've got another stop to do, so this is really helping us out, all this traffic. This is why the one stop is a good option around here. The soft hard works really well. Oof, that was close. Almost ran to the back of the Fiat here. These guys are losing a lot of time, but I don't feel like it's worth overtaking them because they're just going to overtake me back again on the medium tyres. The best we can do is just follow them, let them do their race. If Hamilton goes for a move, who's behind me, I might not fight because, again, we're, we're in a different race, you know. I could pass these guys, but they're only going to overtake me anyway, so... Let's see how it pans out. For now, let's just try and stay where we are and just stay in the middle of this train. I want to try and get past this Williams if we can, that's the target. Let's see what happens after turn one. Oh, debris flying off one of the cars. I believe it's off the Williams. As we go through now into turn three, we're going to try and slip through on the inside. That Williams has understeer, so it should be an easy move for us. Oh, that's getting tasty. The Red Bull's actually lost an end plate. Russell has lost an end plate. So we are going to make the move. He does try to go back at us. We're going to go around the outside of turn five. With the momentum, we're going to try and make the move. Russell's still hanging on. He holds on for now. That Red Bull's got a lot of straight on speed. But he's going to really struggle through turn nine. To be fair, I absolutely messed up myself. Which didn't help. Hamilton behind looking for the move. But we keep him behind for now. But Russell is going to be in trouble here. So we're going to get past him on the pit straight. And uh, overtake this Red Bull. He's going to really be slow through this final sector as well. With wing damage. Let's just hope he doesn't get the RS from Kofi. I think he probably will, which is going to make things a little bit harder for us, but we'll try and get him anyway. 
Trying to get the power down on the hard tyre, which is never easy. Here we go, though. Nice exit, and he doesn't have DRS, actually. So here we go. Easy move. With the DRS, we fly past the Red Bull. Hamilton's going to try and follow through. But we move up to 8th place. With the turn 1. Nice and letting the brakes to avoid Hamilton going for, like, a really far back dive on us. But we are through. Job done. Clean air once again. We can enjoy it. Right, here we are behind Giovinazzi now. We're going to make the move on the Renault driver, who's just been passed by Danny Kafia. Very tidy exit there once again. Another easy move on the pit straight. The snap a new fastest lap, 16.7. Let's hope Hamilton doesn't get by it straight away. That would be good news for us. Looks like he has though. But we're keeping up with Kafia here, which is good. I wonder if he has maybe light wing damage. Who knows? We're racing well on these hard tyres. Again, the traffic is not allowing the AI to really optimise their mediums, which is great news for us in terms of our one-stop strategy. Cars in the pit lane. We now move up to fourth place in this Grand Prix. Hamilton trying to hunt me down with DRS, but he's not close enough. And he's struggling to get past me, actually, on those medium tyres, surprisingly. Right, here comes Lewis again. This could be the one. He's gaining, but not enough. He just can't make the move at the minute. We're staying in front. We've got enough juice on the straight to keep the Ferrari behind. I'm struggling on my rear tyres, I will admit. I'm not feeling too comfortable on those, but I'm trying to hold Hamilton up. Hopefully Perez can catch and maybe pass. That'd be great. Okay, that was a bad exit for me there. Hamilton's really close this time. We're going to defend the inside, but he's got a lot of momentum and he's passed me before the break zone. Nothing I could do, unfortunately. We won't fight Perez if he gets close. I'll let him go by and let him go with his race because I don't want to hold him up any more than I need to. But it doesn't look like he's got the pace here today, Sergio. Oh, Alex Ander Albon out of the session for Haas. That's the second time of the race here today. After Pierre Gasly earlier on. We've kept up with Lewis here, but we are going to let Perez go. I'm not going to fight it. He's faster than me. He's on the better tyre. We'll just turn the engine down and he should pass us very easily. There you go. Job done. Now we can go back up to full speed. Get a bit of a slipstream. And that is minimal time lost. Hopefully Perez can keep up with Lewis, who has just set a new fast up of the Grand Prix. Oh, okay. We're snapping pits. He goes for the hard tyre. Okay, interesting. So he's not even going for the medium-medium. He's going for the hards. Meanwhile, we're still just keeping up with Perez here quite comfortably. No real need to overcommit. I'm just keeping my tyres in check. Managing fuel and DRS and engine. And it's all going pretty well. Pace is good. The DRS is dragging me along, so I couldn't ask for more, to be honest. Just got to wait for when everybody pits, then we can open up the car a bit, open up the taps, use up our extra fuel and DRS, push for a few laps. And uh, at the minute, we are well on course for a race win here. It's looking absolutely fantastic. All we've got to do now is see where Verstappen is. He's our rival. Perez pits, as we make a bit of a mistake there, but we still get DRS. Looks like a Fiat pits as well, and uh, Hamilton stays out for one more, as we know. Right, looks like we're going to be on target to retake the race lead here, which is great. Good thing is as well, Verstappen, he's actually got to get past all those guys on the one-stoppers. So, um, at the minute, to be fair, it looks like he's done good work at that. He's only got to get past Magnussen, then he's back behind us. But still, he's got to make a lot of work to catch up to us. I'm now going to go for a push lap, as Hamilton is going to pit. So that's going to give us P1 now in this race, and I'm going to go for... A faster snap attempt. We may not get it, but I'm going to give it a crack. So here we go. Let's give it some power. P1. Job done. Right. 11 laps to go. Let's do this. Here's my fastest snap attempt. I don't think it's going to be enough. Verstappen did just set a 16.4. We do a 16.8. So there we go. That's the best we can do. But still, good pace. Personal best. That gets us much more on race pace. 15.8 from Hamilton. That's an incredible lap. Must be on the medium, surely. Verstappen now up to second place as well. Magnussen on for a net P3, so we'll see if he can bring that one home. I don't think he will, because it's not too far behind, but Verstappen now 8.3. That's the gap we've got to manage now for the remaining nine laps of the race, so let's try and manage that now and uh, try and bring this one home, but it could be a first win for the season for us, and it would be a massive one if we could bring this home to really help us out in the championship. Kvyat 15.7, and to be fair, he's right on the back of Verstappen. He's also got those medium tyres on, so... I'm kind of hoping Max can actually keep him behind because if that doesn't happen, hmm, Kvyat could actually catch us if he holds on to his tyres. We're keeping the pace up here, matching my personal best now. 
and uh, just trying to keep competitive. The gap now 3.7 to Fiat hasn't been able to get the pass on Verstappen, so Max is picking up his pace on those hard tyres. He's pretty much going flat out now. But the good news is we do look to be on target to stay in front of Max. He might have DRS on the last lap of the race, but we've got enough pace at the moment to keep him at bay. So we're going to try and keep it there. Had to save a bit of fuel in the RS on that lap, so I've lost a bit of time. That lap was half a second off. Verstappen now 1.9 behind. Three laps to go. This is going to go right down to the wire. Oh, Kofiak makes a move on Max. Ideally, I want Max in second place. As uh, we'd outscore Kofiak, of course, the championship leader. But this does mean it will just give us a bit of time to pull away. Which is what we need. I'm on the limit. Giving it everything I've got now. Cap is 1.5. Looks good to me. Last lap of the race, I think we're okay now. Here we go, into the final sector now. Verstappen has managed to hold on to second place and I've held on to my lead, so this is a perfect scenario for the championship as we are going to gain 10 points on Danny Kafia, which is massive for us. Here we go, through the final chicane, easy does it, power down, and there we go, job done. Perfect strategy, and it's our first win with a racing point. Get in there, yes. Fantastic, you've won the Grand Prix. And an incredible win for Racing Point. A brilliant performance. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? I think the key here was just the quality of the racecraft, you know? I mean, how many overtakes did they make overall? I'm sure we have a stat person keeping score somewhere. And it was fantastic to watch, wasn't it? This is a strategic sport at the end of the day, but it's always really gratifying to see close war battles on track. It's what all the fans are after. Racing Point's performance today has shown that they can be competitive with the veterans of the sport. They're making their way out to the podium now as we speak, and the reaction from the crowd must be incredibly uplifting for them. Uh, guys, today is a good day as we pick up our first win and it tastes very, very good. Strategy today was absolutely perfect, on point, and we get maximum points for it. And Verstappen finishes second ahead of Kofiak, which is great news for the championship. Lewis Hamilton, P4 in the second Ferrari. Kevin Magnussen on the one-stop all the way up in P5 in the Renault. Sergio Perez, our teammate, on a two-stop up in P6. Then we have Bottas, Hulkenberg, Leclerc, and Raikkonen rounding up the top 10. Carlos Sainz misses out on the points, along with Russell, Stroll, Grosjean, Giovinazzi, Norris, Ricardo, Vettel down in 18th place due to car issues and Albon and Gasly out here today. We then move into the standings and with that race win we cut the gap to Kofiak and we are 31 points behind him and uh, only 3 points behind Lewis Hamilton and the next race is Monaco and you can bet your lucky stars I'm going to be hungry to pick up a big 25 points around there. We know Monaco isn't the AI's best track so we do have a chance there to hopefully make it two in a row possibly and kick off the European season in the best possible way. Uh, further down though, Verstappen and Perez overtake uh, Vettel as does Valtteri Bottas. And in terms of the constructor standings, we remain in second place. Still 74 points adrift of Ferrari as a Red Bull overtake Mercedes. And uh, also worth noting that we have got a pretty good gap of about 81 points to Red Bull. So we're pretty much slap bang in the middle of the second place there and uh yeah it looks like we're there to stay for now either way guys that is going to be it from me his day at catalonia if you guys enjoyed the video and the episode a first race winner of the season that deserves a big fat like in my opinion so if you guys could drop that i'd appreciate it and also subscribe if you are new for daily formula one and moto gp content on the channel i'd also appreciate that and also click the bell icon to be notified whenever i do post videos and finally check out the two videos on your screen if you have missed them but guys that is it from me here today at barcelona and i'll see you all next time at the principal for the Monaco Grand Prix, but until then, it's goodbye from me.